So we already have many Droid custom rooms. Yes, I'm talking about the custom rooms which are having uh, Droid names. For example, this one is Alpha Droid. CR Droid is we already have CR Droid and many other Droid based custom rooms. Ghost Droid, I guess. And uh, this Alpha Droid is basically one of those customizations focus custom room, which is also quite good and it's quite stable too. But it depends on which device you are using. It's based on Android 14 having the latest security patch of February 2024. I remember when I made video on this custom room, I guess it was based on Android 13 when last time I made a video on this one. So it's based on Android 14 too. It's already there. So let's have a quick look at some of the things here. For example, the settings UI. As you can see, the settings UI is looking a bit different as compared to some other custom rooms. It's inspired from Nusantra OS. But let me tell you one thing, unlike this and this custom room actually, in Android 13, there was option to customize the settings UI. But in this case, in Android 14, you can't do that, unfortunately, at least while making this video. If we move on to the quick settings options, you will find some great options, some quite a lot of features. You have the option to customize the quick settings panel style. Although not by default, we are having Android 11 quick settings style options, but you can do so by adjusting the rows and columns and hiding those labels. But by default, it's not there. I mean, one click and you will not be able to enable that. The quick settings panel already have some styles already available as you can see shady layer surround etc etc some of them look so good and let me tell you one more thing that in case you need these kind of quick setting styles in other custom rooms you can do so very easily by installing iconify module or even i guess pixel expert i don't think so it supports now but you can install iconify for that you also have some brightness bar style customizations available in this quick settings panel so you can adjust the brightness slider according to your own preference and this thing is also possible in some other custom rooms with the help of iconify but you have by default available in alpha droid one of my favorite features especially available in this custom room is the status bar padding you can adjust the left padding you can adjust the right padding in most of the custom rooms but in this case you can also adjust the top padding we also have the option to adjust the by we also have the option to customize the battery style so for example ios 16 style battery indicator looks good you can enable that very easily some options that you do some status bar icons which you can enable or disable and let me show you we have the volt evo wi-fi icons we have the option to enable the background chip in the clock in the status bar as you can see which is also configurable we have the option to do so approximately 8 to 10 styles i guess already available so yes in the terms of customizations there are many options available for you including the status bar customizations we also have the option for other customizations, other kind of customizations. For example, in miscellaneous, you will find spoofing options, which is a very useful thing. Higher FPS in games or unlimited photo storage, almost similar to some other custom rooms. There's nothing unique in this case, at least for now. We have the option for show squiggle animation. So whenever you play any media, uh, you will see the, the progress bar in the quick settings panel then the animation is easily and animation can be easily enabled or disabled we also have the option for this this kind of launcher which is literally same as compared to some other custom rooms for example the launcher 3 base launcher at a glance customization search bar some icon pack customization some options related to app drawer etc etc so yes almost literally similar also in this in recent panel you will find this kind of ui like in ghost droid as far as i know the clear all button is a bit changed so that looks good but it's not updated to this custom room yet we also have the option for theming we also have the option for some customization in status bar almost everywhere we have the option to do to have some customizations you can do that so all the things which are kind of expected already available in this custom room Although, because after trying this custom room, let me tell you one more thing here. In the system haptics, you have the option to adjust the haptic for back gestures, brightness slider, edge scrolling, and volume slider. This might be a different thing. Not many custom room provides you, but it's available. So I just wanted to let you know. And let's get back to the topic because in case you want to try it out on a device, while making this video, I tried this. It's not that stable and also a bit laggy, at least in my case. But maybe it's good in your case, you can try it out in case you want to. I just wanted to know you the features, the changes which are available in Android 14 because in Android 13, this customer was actually so good. Let's see if they could improve in the upcoming update. 
but this was all these were things i just wanted to let you know i hope you like this all the features like app locker high developer status almost every feature what you need is already present here so in the terms of customizations i guess no compromises this is all thanks for watching if you like this video don't forget to drop a like and thanks for watching goodbye